فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافاتي وتنهل من روبا الخير My mothers and sisters, what is important for us to know is that we call ourselves Muslim, but are we definitely Muslim? Meaning we say we've surrendered. Have you surrendered? It's a question. You might say, not yet. Okay, well, try your best. Secondly, what you need to know is we call ourselves mu'min. We say we are believers. Do you really believe? Do you really believe that good and bad fate is from Allah? And we've discussed this in the past, speaking about fate and destiny and predestiny. Allah says in the Quran that he has kept predestiny in order that you don't become so excited regarding what you've got and you don't become depressed regarding what has been taken away from you. لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا آتَاكُمْ So that you do not become so saddened with what Allah took away. It's good to say this was just predestined. And so that you do not become too happy with what Allah has given you in the sense that it draws you or drives you to arrogance and pomp and pride. Allah says, hang on, you're just a man. You're just a human being. You're just a woman. You're just a creature of ours. We've bestowed upon you. We can take it away from you. If you have wealth today, position today, beauty today, goodness today, do not think it's going to last forever. There will come a day if Allah wants, He can take it away from you in several ways, with disgrace or with grace, which means with goodness, with respect. Or He can leave you in that position or with that gift of His. It's all Allah's plan. He says, it's our decision. We will do. You believe correctly, it will help you through your life and take you into the hereafter.